After defeating the Ammonim, Shemuel said to the people, Come, and let us go to Galagal, and renew the kingdom there. And all the people went to Galagal, and there they made Shaul king before Yahweh in Galgal, and there they offered sacrifices of peace offerings before Yahweh, and there Shaul and all the men of Yisrael rejoiced greatly. Of the books called Shemuel, the first, chapter 12, And Shemuel said to all Yisrael, Behold, I have hearkened to your voice in all that ye said to me, and have made a king over you. And now, behold, the king walketh before you, and I am old and grey-headed, and behold, my sons are with you, and I have walked before you from my youth to this day. Here I am, witness against me before Yahweh and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken, or whose donkey have I taken, or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed, or of whose hand have I taken a ransom to blind my eyes therewith? And I will restore it you. And they said, Thou hast not defrauded us nor oppressed us, neither hast thou taken aught of any man's hand. And he said to them, Yahweh is witness against you, and his anointed is witness this day, that ye have not found aught in my hand. And they said, He is witness. And Shamuel said to the people, it is Yahweh that appointed Moshe and Ahron, and that brought your fathers up out of the land of Mithraim. Now therefore stand still, that I may plead with you before Yahweh, concerning all the righteous acts of Yahweh, which he did to you and to your fathers." When Yaqob was come into Mithraim, and your fathers cried to Yahweh, then Yahweh sent Moshe and Ahron, who brought forth your fathers out of Mithraim, and made them to dwell in this place. But they forgot Yahweh their God, and he sold them into the hand of Sisara, captain of the host, of Hathor, and into the hand of the Polish team, and into the hand of the king of Moab, and they fought against them. And they cried to Yahweh and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken Yahweh, and have served the Baalim and the Ashtaroth. But now deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, and we will serve thee. And Yahweh sent Yorobbaal, and Badan, and Yephtah, and Shamuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies on every side, and ye dwelt in safety. And when ye saw that Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, came against you, ye said to me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us, when Yahweh your God was your king. Now therefore, behold the king, whom ye have chosen, and whom ye have asked for, and behold, Yahweh hath set a king over you. If ye will fear Yahweh, and serve him, and hearken to his voice, and not rebel against the command of Yahweh, and both ye and also the king that reigneth over you be followers of Yahweh your God, well. But if ye will not hearken to the voice of Yahweh, but rebel against the command of Yahweh, then will the hand of Yahweh be against you, as it was against your fathers. Now therefore stand still, and see this great thing which Yahweh will do before your eyes. Is it not wheat harvest today? 
I will call to Yahweh, that he may send thunder and rain, and ye shall know and see that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of Yahweh, in asking you a king. So Shamuel called to Yahweh, and Yahweh sent thunder and rain that day, and all the people greatly feared Yahweh and Shamuel. And all the people said to Shamuel, Pray for thy servants to Yahweh thy God, that we die not, for we have added to all our sins this evil to ask us a king. And Shamuel said to the people, Fear not, ye have indeed done all this evil, yet turn not aside from following Yahweh, but serve Yahweh with all your heart, and turn ye not aside, for then would ye go after vain things, which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain." For Yahweh will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased Yahweh to make you a people to himself. Moreover, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against Yahweh in ceasing to pray for you, but I will instruct you in the good and the right way. Only fear Yahweh and serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider how great things he hath done for you. But if ye shall still do wickedly, ye shall be consumed, both ye and your king. Shaul was forty years old when he began to reign.' 